like I like that fired up part because I'm freezing to death. <laughs> I, I've got prepared marks and I'm, I, I'm shaking too much to, to hold the paper. So I, I'm going to speak to you from the heart. You know, in 2007, the University of Wisconsin in Milwaukee was opening an engineering facility, a campus dealing with engineering. And in the ceremony on that day, a prominent politician, this is in 2007, he said, this engineering school and this university, it will be an economic engine fired by jet fuel. That politician was Scott Walker. So where have we gone? He believes at that time that universities are the foundation of economic vitality. And so here we are today facing a $300 million cut to the education in this state, to the UW system. This is just unacceptable. It's unacceptable. The Wisconsin idea, the Wisconsin idea has been a model for universities across the country. The Wisconsin idea has set the pace of universities from one coast to the other, this Wisconsin idea. A guy named Howard Odom was the chancellor of the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. And in a book written by a guy named Kirby, he talks in great detail about how Odom fashioned Chapel Hill after the University of Wisconsin-Madison and after our university system, talking about how it is an economic catalyst for North Carolina and how they wanted to be like Wisconsin. This is a gem, it is a jewel that must be saved, it must be, must be cherished, and it must go on, folks, it must go on. Now this time, I want to tell you, I believe this is a nonpartisan or a bipartisan effort. Yeah. I believe colleagues of mine on the other side of the aisle are going to join us this time in this struggle. That's what I see. And that's what we need. You know, the last week, Governor Walker spent in England. He spent in England talking with the Chancellor Cameron, or, or Prime Minister Cameron, and, and Chancellor of the Exchequer. Osborne. Governor Walker needs to come here and talk to our chancellors of our university system. And what do we need to do? What we need to do is work smart, work together. We need to talk to our legislators. You need to write letters. You need to make phone calls. You need to send emails. Don't send the pattern emails where there's a thousand of them that come in and say the same thing. Write individual emails so your legislator understands that there's a real human being that's typing this email out because they got to see what these cuts are going to do to real human beings in the state of Wisconsin. And you know what? Those real human beings, they elect these people. It's time for you guys to stand up and tell them who's in charge. So, you know what your task is. You're very good at it. Please write your legislators. Get your parents, your friends, your neighbors to write your legislators. I think there will be support for you from both sides of the aisle this time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank you very much.